The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the operation of an Arduino Uno microcontroller board. We have set up a system whereby we're measuring DC voltages from 0 to 10 volts. Have developed a program on the Arduino IDE system on a laptop which has been downloaded through the USB cable into the Arduino printed circuit board. At the moment the cable is still plugged in because we're also powering the system from the USB 5 volts from the laptop. We have two multimeters on the left hand side. The purpose of those two multimeters is to measure the DC voltage and compare those measurements with the serial monitor screen on the Arduino IDE system. So the Arduino is feeding back information through the USB cable set up to 9600 baud and we are displaying the calculated voltage from port A1 on the Arduino Uno board on the screen and we want to compare that measurement with what the multimeters are giving us. It is an exercise in developing programming skills for the Arduino Uno board. It's also an exercise in developing circuit construction skills on our breadboard here and it's also an exercise in understanding the ways that we can safely test and measure voltages and currents, interpret those results and conclude as to whether those results are valid and whether they are accurate. At the moment I am measuring the 5 volt DC power supply on the Arduino Uno board that is nominally 5.0 volts. As on the serial monitor window, it is currently measuring 4.93 volts. What I've done in the program to calibrate the system is when I'm doing the calculation where I'm reading in a 10-bit value from the Arduino. I'm not using 5.0 volts to calculate it. I'm using 4.94 volts to calibrate the system and then calculating a voltage from that. On the breadboard there are two 100k ohm resistors to divide the probe voltage in half so that we read a value that is between 0 and 5 volts which is the operating range of the Arduino Uno board. So what is currently measuring is nominally 5 volts. On our rapid meter, the RH MM17, we're reading 4.95 volts. On the green multimeter, we're reading 4.92. And on the IDE system, we're reading 4.93 volts. And that's the voltage that has been calibrated in the program. We have a high degree in confidence that our setup has been wired correctly. We're on the correct ranges in the multimeters. We've got the probes into the right uh, positions on the multimeters. We've wired the circuit up correctly because we're measuring it with three different instruments the yellow multimeter, the green one and the Arduino system and we're getting very very similar results. But the question would be is which system is going to be most accurate. All three meters are reading within 0 0.03 volts of each other that gives us a high confidence that our setup has been wired and operated correctly. The system has been designed to measure battery voltages. So if we connect the battery into the system and measure the voltage on that battery, we are currently measuring 7.6 on the Arduino, 
we're measuring 7.59 on the green multimeter and we're reading 7.60 on the rapid multimeter so again the voltage readings are very similar within 0 0.04 of each other we have got a batter, a 9 volt battery connected which is clearly spent chemically it's no longer giving out the required voltage the, on the breadboard there's an LED to indicate that the battery voltage is below 8 volts as has been set up in the program so that battery is no good and should be recycled if we test another battery we now have a red LED going off that would indicate visually that we now have more than 8 volts coming out of her, our nominal 9 volt battery yellow meters read an 8.95 greens 8.90 and the Arduino is 8.89 so again they're very very similar within 0 0.06 of a volt between all three measurement devices the rapid meter is still under warranty it's within a year old the accurate the claimed accuracy is point is 0 0.5 percent of reading plus one digit if we're reading 8.9 volts 10 percent of that would be 0 0.8 five percent of that would be 0 0.4 if it's point 5% of reading that would give us plus or minus 0 0.04 volts is the claimed accuracy of the rapid now that would indicate that that meter is very accurate within 0.5% of reading the Arduino claims it is accurate within 2 least significant bits so it, if we say that the rapid one is the most accurate then they're all pretty accurate as well because they're all giving readings within 0 0.06 volts of each other our program our Arduino program every Arduino program has to have a setup and a loop function so in the setup we initialize pins so for example in our system here our setup loop is initializing pin A1 on the Arduino board as an input it also sets up the baud rate the communication rate on the USB cable such that the IDE system can interpret the data bits coming back uh, and give us out reading of a 10 bit value from our analog to digital converter inside the microcontroller chip so we in the program we set up variables we set up temporary data storage give them different labels and we give them initial values if we require to set up variables that need decimal points then they have to be assigned as float variables so that they are declared as 32 bit <coughs> words and we can then have decimal points if it's a standard variable it's declared as int for integer so every program we set up our variables and initialize the values we then have a setup function that's run once after power on to initialize input and output ports and then we have our loop function that contains the main code executes line by line gets to the bottom of the loop and goes back to the start of the loop and runs continuously